welcome back so let's start working further first we will go down and simply wrap this glass my home page and also this one wrap it and simply delete this you guys can see now simply you will remove that comment files and remove that from here and here for now we will have a scaffold as you guys know our app is connected with the firebase so first we will go and we will ensure initialize the widget flutter binding so for that simply we will go right in here and we will say widgets there we go with the widgets flutter binding and simply we will say dot ensure initialized so whenever using the widgets flutter binding this binding or one that implement the same interfaces must be used and dot ensure initialized this will simply return in a instance of the binding that implements that widgets binding and in case if there is no binding has yet been initialized then the widgets flutter binding class is used to create an initialized one so that's the purpose that we use that right in here so that's fine right in here now we will simply initialize the app with the firebase so for that right in here you will say final and future less than and greater sign and then we will say firebase app we will name this as a initialization and now simply in that we will initialize the app with firebase so let's go and do that first we will say firebase dot initialize app there we go so this is gonna initialize the app with firebase and it's gonna be right inside the initialization okay and also we don't need this key just simply tell this and also from here remove that cons all good and now we will jump right in the widget build right in the refrain first we will remove that material ape and later on we will add that so let me remove that first so from here to here simply remove it for now and we will return future builder right in here we will remove that for now add it and semicolon now right in the future builder it's gonna take some properties the first one will be future and right in the future whenever we will run the app and you guys already know we initialize the app with firebase right in the initialization so in here you will say initialization okay it will simply initialize the app with firebase so right after this is going to take the builder and right in the builder there will be contacts and with the contacts there will be snapshot which will basically contain the data So in here remove that comma and go the braces, take this down. Now in here we will set the if condition for the purpose if snapshot dot connection state if it's equal to connection connection state dot wetting then in that case what we will do we will simply return material app and semicolon right in here right inside that you will say home and right in the home you have a scaffold widget and right in the scaffold widget 
and write in the body and write in the center of the screen in the child and have text and in text we will show something like I job clone app is being initialized that is fine right in here now let's do some styling for that so we will say style and in here text style there we go that's fine add in the text style we will set first the color we will go with the colors dot cyan is fine right in here and we will set the font size we will set it to 40 for now and font weight will be font weight dot bold is fine So right after this material app is a brass and right after that we will say else f and right in that we will say snapshot if the data has error. So in that case we will simply return material app just for a time saving I will copy that from here from here to here copy it and right in here in the error one we will paste it there we go okay so in here we will change the text to an error has been occurred And right after below this bus in here you will simply return the initial material app that we removed before so same call right at n and in there first we will say the title and in title we will say I job clone app we will set the theme, theme data, and right inside that we will set the scaffold background color. There we go. And colors, we will go with the black one. And right after that, set the primary swatch. There we go. We will give the color blue. Let's find right in here. Now let's move down and right after this theme data we will say home and gonna have the scaffold right in here. So now we will remove that yellow lines. You will add this const modifier so the code will be clean then you guys can see also with this material app add the const modifier and also with the scaffold all good and if you guys didn't add the const modifier it will not cause any error I just added because the yellow line wasn't looking good and also it wasn't in a proper manner so that's fine the yellow line has been gone already now let me tell you one more time right in the future builder first we will initialize the app as i told you already and right in the builder there will be contacts 
and right after you will be a snapshot which will basically contain our data and then we set the if condition if the snapshot it means if the data and their connection state if it's equal that to the connection stat dot waiting then we will simply return the material a and right inside that right in the center of the screen we will show this tags i job clone app is being initialized if the connection state if it's equal to waiting okay and right after this if condition and else f we say if the snapshot if the data if it's contain any kind of error then we will simply return the material i and write inside that right in the center of the screen in text we will show that an error has been occurred in case of any error and right after is the initial material app in which we say the title and the theme data we give the color to the scaffold background and also to the primary swatch we set it to blue and right in the home you guys can see it is a scaffold so whenever we run the app there will be a empty black screen because we set the scaffold and it's totally empty so before running the app first we will go right inside the android and open the app open that build.grada because it is a new version and it requires some update changes so right inside that you guys can see the minimum SDK version you will change that to 19 and also right at end in here we will say multi dax enable set it to true so it's the requirement of the update version that we are using as I told you before running the app we set this to 19 the minimum SDK version and also the multi dex enable to true if we didn't set that and if you run the app then it will give us the error so first I set this to 19 and set this to true so whenever we run the app there will be no error so that's fine let's close this and we're gonna now open the emulator from here I have already downloaded you guys can see right in here and if you guys don't know how to download the emulator the virtual device you simply click in here create device and come here select any of the phone right in here and then click next and right in here select the API level in here download it simply if you didn't download it download it and you can choose whatever you want right in here and just download it okay and then come here and click on this next rename the phone if you guys want and then simply whenever this complete click on finish this will simply create a virtual device emulator for you so I have already downloaded I will open that click on this play button there we go now I will simply come here and click on this run man dot dot just hold reload it this will take some time just wait for a while And there we go with the output. I have already told you about this because we use in here the scaffold and it's totally empty. That's why in here there is nothing but an empty screen. With the background color, scaffold background color black. You guys can see right in here. So now right in here we will remove that debug. So for that purpose, in here we will say debug show check mode banner. We will set this to false now if we 
press the control as you guys will notice there we go the debug has been gone already so now I will show you one more thing just simply come here and cut the process and run it from the start or reload it click in here run man dot dot so let's see now I will take this down we will make this a little bit big more now you guys will notice the tags the app will be one right in a while there we go so in here right in the center there will be a tax I joke clone app is being initialized there we go if you guys notice there was that tax so now we will make some changes right for that because it was too big and we will set it to 38 and also we will add the font family we will set it to signature and we have already added this font let me show you that right in the postback.yaml there we go okay so let's go back in here there we go with the signature now again we will cut the process and we will run it from start click in here run main dot dot and let's see the output now and you guys will notice that tax ijoplon app is being initialized it will be there just for a while right in the center of the screen right in here so let's wait for that the app is running and there we go there was that tax ijob clone app is being initialized and it showed that tax because the reason was that if the data and the connection start if it's equal to the connection start dot writing then simply show this tax so that's it for this video right in the next video we will work further right from here